being cannot come from non-being. Since we exist, then being has always been in one form or another. Since the universe had a beginning, a non-physical being must have existed beyond the universe, causing the universe into existence. That being is God. Who created the Creator? If nothing ever existed, then there would be still nothing. Since we exist, something must have always existed. Since the universe had a beginning, it was caused into existence by something else. That cause must be either personal or non-personal. A non-personal cause would be of physical substance, and so subject to change in time. That cause would also need to have a beginning, and be caused by something else, leading to infinite regress, which is impossible. The best explanation as cause of the universe is a personal creator, independent, immaterial, existing in an eternal timeless dimension, triggering the Big Bang and creating the universe. The universe obeys laws and rules of mathematics and physics, a specific set of equations upon which it operates, with stability, constants and regularity. The implementation of laws of mathematics and physics depends on the action of an intelligent rational agency. Therefore, the physical universe, which operates in an interdependent manner, with the laws of physics, were both most likely implemented by an intelligent creator. The Big Bang, the initial conditions of the universe, subatomic particles, atoms, the fundamental forces of the universe, the solar system, the sun, the earth and the moon, the electromagnetic spectrum, are all finely tuned to permit life. Over 100 fine-tuning parameters are known. The fine-tuning is either due to chance, physical necessity, or intelligent design. Fine-tuning is extremely unlikely due to chance or necessity. Therefore, it is most probably due to design by a powerful creator, which did set up the universe in the most precise fashion to permit life on Earth. Origin of life arguments Origin of life research during over half a century has demonstrated that the prebiotic origin of the four classes of the basic building blocks of life by random unguided processes and consequently living self-replicating cells is not possible. Eliminative inductions argue for the truth of a proposition by demonstrating that competitors of that proposition are false. Either the origin of the basic building blocks of life and self-replicating cells are the result of the creative act by an intelligent designer or the result of unguided random chemical reactions on early Earth. Science, rather than coming closer to demonstrate how life could have started, has not advanced and is further away to generating living cells starting with small molecules. Therefore, most likely, cells were created by an intelligent designer. The origin of blueprints containing the information to fabricate complex machines and interlinked factory complexes which produce goods for specific purposes are both always the result of intelligent invention, implementation and design. Living cells store very complex genetic and epigenetic information through the genetic code and over 20 epigenetic languages translation systems and signaling networks. These information systems instruct the making and operation of cells and multicellular organisms. Each cell hosts millions of interconnected molecular machines, production lines and factories, analogous to factories made by men. They are of unparalleled gigantic complexity, able to process constantly a stream of data from the outside world through signaling networks. 
cells operate robot-like autonomously and they adapt the production and recycle molecules on demand. The process of self-replication is the epitome of manufacturing advance and sophistication. Therefore, the origin of biological information and self-replicating cell factories is best explained by the action of an intelligent designer who created life for his own purposes. Cell subunits and compartments form a complex system that is useful only in the completion of a much larger system which is able to keep the basic functions of life. A minimal living cell requires a genome of about 250 genes and at least 560 proteins. Each of these proteins is essential. A discrete minimal size of each individual protein complex formed by multiple subunits and cofactors is required for function. And many proteins in cells only operate when interconnected and working in a joint venture similar to a robotic production line and having the right energy supply. Cells must emerge and be functional all at once. Irreducible complex and interdependent systems cannot evolve but depend on intelligence with full knowledge on how to build discrete parts with distant goals. Therefore, intelligent design is the best explanation for the origin of living self-replicating cells. Origin of biodiversity, body architecture and organismal form. The mechanisms required to build complex organismal form is pre-programmed instructional complex information encoded in various genetic and over 20 epigenetic codes and languages and communication by various signaling codes to various physicochemical signaling networks. Science has demonstrated that evolution by mutations and natural selection, genetic drift and gene flow result in entropy and deteriorate the genome, rather than increasing information and organismal complexity. Origin of instructional complex information, analogous to blueprints and signaling networks, is always tracked back to intelligence, setting them up with specific purposes. Therefore, biodiversity and organismal architecture are better explained by an intelligent creator rather than mindless, unguided evolution. Gene regulatory networks are a collection of molecular regulators that interact with each other and with other substances in the cell to orchestrate the expression of DNA. They operate based on logic gates and their networks process chemical input signals similar to computers. These encoded instructions are based on Boolean logic, which is a formalism describing logical operations. Logic is exercised by minds through reason. Reasoning is exercised by intelligence. Only an intelligent mind can think rationally and implement a system based on conceptual laws of logic. Therefore, the best and most reasonable explanation for the existence of complex gene regulatory networks based on Boolean logic, essential for the orchestration of gene expression, is the creative action of an intelligent designer. Regulating, governing, controlling, recruiting, interpreting, recognizing, orchestrating, choreographing, elaborating strategies, guiding, instructing, fine-tuning, monitoring, organizing, or all tasks of gene regulatory networks, which are ultra-sophisticated communication networks in cells, analogous to electric circuits in man-made devices. In the same sense as copper, plastic, basic electronic components do not turn into a printed circuit board randomly, 
molecular regulators, transcription factors, on-off switches, feedback loops, logic gates cannot turn into a gene regulatory network by unguided processes. Communication networks and signaling transmission systems highly flexible and able to rapidly reconfigure to deliver different outputs are only known to be implemented and pre-programmed by intelligence. Therefore, most probably, the gene regulatory network was implemented and programmed by an intelligent agency.